Now that your background is dry, we are going to add in our toucan. To do this, we are going to outline the different shapes first, and then we're gonna fill them in. So I want you to grab your medium round brush, and we're actually gonna outline using white paint. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay our toucan's body, and the toucan's body is just a half circle. So we are gonna start by making an angled line with a half circle to the side. Now it has to be angled because if you don't have it angled, you're not going to have um, the beak and the tail and the wing in the correct spot. So make sure it's at an angle. Your beak is gonna be the same thing. It's going to be a straight line and it's gonna be a half circle until you hit his body. Your wing is going to be a teardrop shape. So what that means is I'm gonna make a polka dot right about there. This is gonna be the end of his wing. And then I'm gonna turn this polka dot into what's gonna be ovalish on one side, but it's gonna come right back down to the point. And his tail is a simple triangle. Now at this point, if you think your toucan is too skinny, like I think my toucan might be a little bit too skinny, I can uh, give him another piece of pizza and make him a little bit chunkier. There we go. Now he's got a little bit more meat on his bones. The last thing we're gonna outline is gonna be our toucan's eye. And the toucan's gonna have a nice big eye right here between his wing and his beak. After we have those things done, we are gonna be filling in our toucan. I'm gonna use my flat brush for that. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill his body in. I'm gonna fill his body in black. I wanna make sure when I'm doing this that I cover over my white lines and it's okay if a little bit of white mixes in. It's okay if a little bit of white mixes in, don't worry about that. But you're gonna color his whole body shape, that first half circle we made. You're gonna fill that whole thing in with black. Make sure you don't cover over his eye or his wing. You're gonna paint this whole part right here in black. Really smooth out those edges. Making sure you're not leaving any white lines behind. Now, if you get to an area like this where maybe you need to get a smaller brush, it's easy peasy. Set your brush down, grab a smaller brush, and finish filling in these areas. Perfect. I do want to kind of make sure that I keep that circle for the eye. It's okay if a little bit of white shows because we are going to paint his eye white. But I do want to keep that circle as shape. So if I've lost part of that circle, I do want to change that just a bit. So now I've got that, I'm going to wash my brush off. I want that brush to be nice and clean for when I paint his tail. And his tail, I'm going to paint purple. Now the great thing about toucans is they're very bright and colorful, so you can paint them whatever colors you want. But I'm gonna paint my tail in purple. I want it to be a light purple, and all I have is a dark purple. So I'm doing purple and white on my brush, and I am going to paint his tail in purple, making sure I get rid of all of those white lines, those white lines that go right around him. Perfect. Wash my brush off again because I'm next going to be painting his wing in. I'm going to paint his wing pink, but remember, pink's not your jam. Change the color, whatever color you want. If you want it to be lighter, like I want mine, grab pink and white. You can paint his entire wing in with that pink and white color.
wash my brush off and I'm gonna use orange for his beak. Nice orange beak. Now I am going to give a little bit of a highlight to his beak. I want his beak to stand out pretty well. So as I am finishing off his nice orange beak, without washing my brush, I'm going to wipe just a little bit of paint off and I'm gonna grab some white. And with that white paint, I am going to go right along the top edge of his beak. Just to give him a little bit of a highlight. Just lighten that top edge up just a little. Perfect. Now I am gonna move back to my round brush for his eye. I'm gonna wash it off really good because it just had black paint on it. And I'm going to be able to fill that eye in with white paint. Perfect. And of course, you know, the best way to get a perfect dot is with a circle and your finger has a circle on it. So I'm gonna take my finger with a little bit of black paint on it. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle of his little birdie eye. If I need to clean that up at all, I can always use my round brush to kind of add a little bit. Like right here, I got some white mixed in, but now it's gone. Now let's talk about some little dirty birdie feet. Okay, If we are gonna add his little dirty birdie feet on here, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are using a clean brush with our orange paint and he's actually sitting down. So I'm just gonna make three small rounded off toes right here on that one and three small rounded off toes right there on that one. They look like little Cheetos. He's just sitting here sitting on some Cheetos. Now you can do a couple more things with this toucan if you would like but you don't have to. So the options that you have are to add some um, details to his wings. So I can, for example, take my paintbrush with some white paint and maybe add some lines on his wings for some highlight. I can take my darker purple paint and I can make some lines on his tail feather, just to make it a little more interesting. I can go in and I can add a small bit of purple right here because toucans are very brightly colored birds. I can add a little bit of black to the tip of his nose because they do have a little bit of black on the tip of their nose. And even I can add a small line to show where his beak is. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sign our art. So I'm gonna take my skinny paintbrush. I'm gonna put my initials right down here at the bottom. Have a great day, friends. Enjoy your little toucan.